Hey YouTube, it's Mama Lopez here. Um, excuse me, I am so sick right now. Um, trying to do these videos, but it's been so hard when you're sick. Trying to drink some water, trying to take care of the kids in the house, but trying to get them, trying to give you guys some content. But Mama Lopez here. Um, so I'm gonna bring you this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe hit the like button notifications so you guys can get notified when we bring you some new content some new videos and again if you're new to our channel please don't forget to subscribe um i have been having something weighing over my heart lately um i know y'all know our um youtube channel is different things we do mukbangs we um bring you story time we bring you funny things for you guys to laugh um just sitting sitting here in my car as you guys know i got 12 kids but got six out six in um i still got six kids in the house but lately you know i don't i know a lot of you mothers is gonna be able to relate to me i have one of my children, one, just one in the back, one. That's just giving me headaches, like, uh, you know, it's that one child that you just want to grip up and strangle sometimes, but you just got to send them up in prayer all the time, send them up in prayer, and just hope for the best, because... You know, ain't nothing worse, nothing worse than you see potential in your children and for them not to see that potential in themselves. And as a parent, um, it hurts. It hurts really bad because um, you know that you have you know brought them up with good morals you have taught them the right way you have instilled them in the word of god um prayer i mean you've done everything i mean at this point i've done everything that i can and um nothing I can do but just pray so parents if you find yourself in this situation as a parent speaking out of my heart out of experience what I can tell you is stay steadfast in prayer pray for your children don't give up continue Keep loving them. Pass that pain. Keep loving them. Pass them cursing you. Pass them telling you how they don't love you. Pass them telling you how they hate you. Pass them telling you, calling you a liar, calling you all types of names. Keep loving them because sooner or later, they're gonna get to an age that they're gonna realize that everything they've done was wrong and they're gonna realize that wow everything my mother or my father told me was right and they're gonna come back and they're gonna apologize and if they don't because they don't know how to humble themselves then they're going to have to deal with God. That's it. You don't worry about that. So, as parents, I'm coming to you as a parent, as parents, you know, just love them. That's all we can do is love our children. And, um, my older children, I have a few that's given me headaches. 
I have a few of them that are good right now. Some that are not so good. But all I do as a parent is just love them. Love them beyond who they are. Because you know what? I don't see them as how they're reacting or how they're acting. I see them as the person God has told me they're going to be. So I see them as the evangelist or I see them as the missionary or I see them as the pastor or I see them as the minister or I see them as the singer for God or, you know, I call things into existence that are not there, but I know that exist. So, as a Christian woman, as a woman of God, the only thing I can do is pray. And the only thing I can tell you, my only, 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 only advice that I can say is pray. Prayer is the key to heaven. Prayer is the key to open the foundation of heaven, to open the doors of heaven, to open the heart of God and allow him to pour out those blessings into your life, into your home, into your children, to break those chains and allow your family to flourish. Not just for your family and for your home, but for others to see that God does exist, that God is an awesome, almighty God, and that he does break chains and that he does change and that he can bring into existence that what is not. So, if you don't believe, that's fine. If you do believe, that's fine as well. I'm not here to make you a believer or to feed the disbelief. I'm not here for none of that. I'm just here so people know that there's someone out here that is standing in the same place you're standing with children that act up, with children that are okay, with children that disrespect, with children that don't know how to act right. So. And I can only give you what works for me. So what works for me is prayer. What makes me not go crazy and not go insane is prayer. Do I cry? Yes, I do cry. But prayer takes me through the next day. So remember guys, if you're new, subscribe, like, comment, let us know what you would like us to do for you guys. I know there's a lot of challenges out there. Um, would you like us as a family to do a challenge for you guys? Um, we love you guys. Um, I know we're new to this, but we're trying to grow. So let us know in the comments what you want us to do. Like I said, love y'all. Subscribe, comment, like and turn on your notifications. And know that the Lopez clan is praying for you. Help us pray as well. Pray for us, we'll pray for you. Love you guys, okay? Till next time. Love ya.